You really think I'm not a good sister? Well, it's not that you're not a good sister. It's just you gotta think that your actions don't just have, like, doesn't affect not just only you, but it also affects me. Like, next year, I'm gonna be applying for colleges, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that with things that are on the internet. I might not even be able to get a girlfriend because people, like, they already know. Um, in public, people ask me, do you really like your sister? Do you really approve of this? Like, I actually don't think this could work in my future. I, Christian, with everything that I'm doing, like, I've never once wanted it to affect you like this. And yet, you will not stop. Bro, I'm sorry. That can do nothing. I really don't want it to affect there's, you. There's nothing else I can say. And you know what she really messed up at is showing him in the video. Because I mean, you could have do your thing without showing your family members, you know? Because if any one of my sisters and I'm doing what the fuck you doing, I don't want to be a part of that. Don't put me on camera with you. No. Going and skin out for a freaking man to pay like what? Two ninety nine to see you naked. What kind of? Like you're supposed to show me love, not be against me. I come on here to tell you the truth. What the fuck are you talking about? What's when the you, truth? So when you leave here to go to Miami, you're living out your life. But yeah, then you I'm just forget you, sh you just forget whatever happens in North Carolina and what happens to me at school. Like I I get like bullied, but not like bullied, like punched at, but people just say shit and that pisses me off. And like I just wish that stop because whatever you doing here affects me at North Carolina. So why do you still come here then? <laughs> because it's better be than North Carolina. That's what I'm saying though, but you don't have to be a You don't have to be filming videos with me. That's what I'm saying. Bro, I'm not holding you hostage. You can leave. Even with dating, because I don't drink, I don't have sex, and I don't go for bullshit, I think men don't even want to, don't yeah. even want to talk to me because they're like, it's just what you, I can't get her drunk on the first day. She's not going to fuck. She already told me she's not going to fuck. <laughs> and I'm vegan to top it off. Oh, so they're okay. like, now. I think it's that what killing it. The vegan part. You're not drinking? That's fine. You're not having sex? That's fine. I could talk you out to jaws. You check what I'm saying? But the vegan part of it, I feel that way your mind's so messed up and it'll be talking a lot of stupid shit. Maybe that way. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Why do y'all females give y'all man a hand job? Like, I feel like it's pointless. Because do you honestly think that you can beat his meat better than him? Shut up! <laughs> they lead to a blow. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You better grab a hold of that meat. Stroke his pocus. And oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> we all are coming up to these things. That is hilarious. Worried about continuing the job with the hands? No, it's supposed to be a transition. That's, stay out of my business. <laughs> Talking about do I think I can beat it better than him. I know I, what I can do better than him. Yeah. <laughs> I know that much. Y'all play entirely too much. Why do guys say they want good girls but are attracted to sluts, while girls say they want good guys but are attracted to the players? Sluts are easy, good girls are hard, players are fun, good guys are boring. Hmm. Good girls are hard, out of fine. Good girls not hard to get. Slows don't hard to get either. They don't hard to get with. They just does take too long to give up the sex. That that's the only problem. Because I bro, the dunces relationship I've been in, that was back then. Bro, I was with a girl from August to the next year, June. And I never fuck it. She was a good girl. She always in church and them kind of something. She always used to try to get me to go to church and them kind of something. But me now nah, do it. You check. Hey, I ain't saying like the whole time they I didn't doing things because I was doing things like bro. She was getting cheated on. If you don't give me sex, somebody else gonna do it. Check what I'm saying. Ah! If I could find love at 50, 60, if that's the time it takes, then it is what it is. You know, at 30, women are like, I have to be married. I have to have kids. My career has to be established. Sure, I've gotten out of that though because I've seen people that are like 30 something and they're unhappy in their marriages. And I don't want to be that. Tina knows got married at like 50, 60 something. So. <laughs> I tripping? Did she compare herself to Beyonce's mother? I don't have a champion and them by way. All of those come out with them kind of logics and them. I don't never realistic and what happening. So like, if your money isn't right and you can't like just easily go out and spend the money that it costs a quarter woman to date a woman, that means you're probably too broke. And if you can't do the same for me, that means you're probably too broke. And you should stay a fucking ass home if you can't afford food outside for yourself. You're fine. 
I find. The reason why so many women are treating dating like a hustle and are only out for monetary gain and luxury experiences is because when situationships became a thing, that really dehumanized dating and it became an emotionally unfulfilling experience. Nah, Shata, it's basically because them girls and them like to beg. That's it. They just like to beg. They could have a lot of money and they still go beg. Yeah, it's like homeless people on the side. I saw this one video where this guy sit on by the road begging and stuff. And when the person pass, he stand up, take out his jacket, he have a suit, and then he go in the Rolls Royce and drive away. That whole holiday, all you have money, but y'all still begging. If you don't like the man, don't go with him. Don't go for dinner. Don't do anything. Anybody that just dating for a free meal, you just don't like the guy. You shouldn't be dating. All you faking it. All right, so the question of the day is, do you think Lizzo is beautiful? I mean, yeah. Lizzo is hot. I give her a cat of pen. Do you think Lizzo is beautiful? Yeah. Lizzo? Yeah. Do you think Lizzo is beautiful? A hundred percent. She's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Do you think Lizzo is beautiful? Yes, I think Lizzo is beautiful. Yeah, Lizzo's cute. Perfect. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. Okay, so we're here with... Molly. Molly, has anyone ever told you that you look like Lizzo? What? You look like Lizzo. Uh, you have a guy. You huh? have a guy. But I will put your big fat mother come to sleep. Okay. Why you don't use your car? You're talking about his way yours. Alright, so I have a riddle. What's easy to get into, but harder to get out of? Ah. Does anyone know? A relationship with a short girl. That easy to get into. But like getting out of it, with the fuck by that girl and them so persistent. Like they can leave man alone too. Like when you wanna be alone, they go just pop up. As a, they go break up with you in the morning. Let's say by midday, they are in your place. They just showing up unannounced. I don't know why they they like this. And they so freaking controlling to it. Like a chihuahua and them. I don't know who tell a little thing and them they bad. Standing up and thing, they they, they right here. She is maybe about here. Yeah, maybe about here. That way they he can't just be doing that and rest me hand on the head. He that shit. But hey. How long have y'all been together? Five years. Yeah, five years. Do y'all trust each other 100%? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah? yeah. I say it like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I don't trust her. Check the phone. Why are you saying like uh, that? Yeah, yeah, I trust you. Yeah, I trust okay. You. May we test the theory? Y'all two swap phones. Yeah. Oh, well, let me do this. You got it right here. Who is with? With? Uh, she one of my friends. Yeah. Was it a friend? Just a friend? Yeah, just 12 day street? Yeah, it gets wild here sometimes. What she, what she mean wild? Oh, uh, she's talking about work. Work? So, oh, so no. You want to look through history? Mm, yeah. Then why you asking her how her work been? Oh, shit. I was just asking because I, I work at why Walmart. Why are you mad that she work all day, though? Oh, shit. She uh, said, yeah, it's been a hell of a day. He said, I bet. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, uh, don't be getting nervous. Let's uh, see who's uh, next. Let's see who's next. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> who's Alexa? Oh. Uh, that's who Alexa is. <laughs> Damn, why she saying you know? That's what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit, dude. Fuck. I'm caught. I guess <laughs> I'm gonna leave fucking up. What phone you had their iPhone? Why don't just send that thing on them, like, in the private part of your phone and put on the disappearing message? You have a personal woman, you have to do these things if you don't want to get caught. But you're gonna get caught. I don't know why, I never got caught until I breathe again. <laughs> Are you mad, bro? They're treating you like equals. That, that's what we asked for. Yeah. Not only that, but let's be realistic here. If more men offered up their seat, a lot of women would automatically assume that he expects something out of it or that he's flirting with her. He could be a married man. Or some women would even get angry. Oh, what? You don't think I'm capable of standing up? Men literally can't win. He opens a door for a woman and gets yelled at for the same thing. Men don't owe you anything. True. And this entitlement here is a big reason why a lot of men don't want to do these things. Because you're expecting it. You're mad that they're not doing it automatically. So what, if a man realistically offered you his seat, would you have said thank you? Would you have been grateful? Or would you have just taken it and not said anything to him? Hmm, you that say as you should. You know, that kind of annoying freaking back chat they does have. And um, Dave Chappelle, they say chivalry is dead and women killed it. Don't expect it. You're not going to get it. I'm not doing it. 
unless you're my mother, my woman, my sister, and them. That's the only way I go get up for you. You check what I'm saying? Yeah. You